Hello and welcome to Working with Big Data Part 2. So now we have our big data set and we've gone through some tips and tricks for selecting it and viewing it and whatnot. So now we're going to do something called um, making a table in Excel. So what we're going to first do is select the data set and I have my split panes here so it's really easy to do it. I select the upper left hand corner, hold shift, select the up lower right hand corner and you can see all of my data sets um, selected because I have the split pane right in the middle here. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to Insert, Table. So my table has headers. You can see the first, the first um, row of the table has headers. So we're going to keep that checked and hit OK. So first off, it, it does a really nice formatting job. I like that um, a lot. And second off, it allows you to do some powerful things. So first, what if I wanted to see when my what kind of days my solar power was the highest. So what I can do is I can sort largest to smallest. And what that does is it shows that on June 22nd, July 1st, and May 10th are my top three solar panel days, solar power days. So I, that's great. I can also sort by any of the other things. So I can sort by temperature. Maybe I want to know when my highest temperature was. Wow, so Arizona gets pretty darn hot. So um, and that's great. So now I have an idea of where my highest temperature are, is and whatnot. So, so that's really good. So the other thing we can do is we can filter these things. So maybe I want to filter only the days where it's higher than 105 in Arizona. So if I go by number filters here, and I say greater than, and I'll just say 105, and we'll get to the end and or stuff later, but right now we're just going to show temperature where we're just going to show rows where temperature is greater than 105. So you can see that gives us um, 311 rows, and the the blue numbers mean that it's filtered. So that's what the blue numbers are saying to us. So it shows us, you know, those rows that appear. Um, with temperatures greater than 105. Okay, so that's great. Now, um, what I'm wondering is the really, really. Um, so let's see what the solar panel power. Let's say we want it to be really hot, and we want the solar power to be pretty high too. So let's say over 900. So I can also do this, greater than. So now it's showing us the two filters. It's showing us where solar power is very high and the temperature is very high. And you can sort of see what's nice about this too is it even it does split panes, it does um it freezes the first row for you already. So when you scroll down it that's frozen. And it even has this little filter button where it shows you that filters are on the temperature and are on the solar panel. Solar power. So this is great. So we can do a lot of different things um, with this. We can also remove duplicates. So this might be good if you're looking at, um, for example, I look at, at student data all the time, and maybe I have students duplicated, so I can remove the duplicates there. Um, but this is probably the sorting and filtering is probably what you'll use most. And um, and that's that. you can also, maybe you only have a couple different values down here. You can also sort by value by just unchecking or checking these boxes. So that's the basics of uh, tables. Tables are really nice because it allows you a good way to sort and filter. Thanks for watching.